Rajma is a wholesome, nutritious and a filling dish. This goes well with rice, roti or chapati. In today's video, I'm going to share how to prepare Kerala style Rajma curry. Let's get started and check out the recipe. Into a pressure cooker, add 2 glass of water that is approximately 500 ml. Add 300 grams of fresh rajmas into it. One large potato finely chopped, this is optional. Add salt to taste. Pressure cook for 4 whistle. If you are using dry rajmas, soak rajma overnight and then pressure cook for 8 whistle. Into a hot pan, add 4 teaspoons of cooking oil. Add 2 medium onions chopped, few curry leaves, 4 green chilies, 1 teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. Sort it till the onion is translucent. Now add 1 teaspoon of coriander powder. 3 before 3 teaspoon of red chilli powder, 1 before 3 teaspoon of turmeric powder. Sort it till the raw flavour of the masalas disappear. Then add 3 medium tomatoes finely chopped, add little salt. Sort it till the tomatoes are soft and mashy. Tomatoes give very good taste for rajma masala. Once the tomatoes are soft, add cooked rajma and potatoes into it. Cook for 10 minutes on low flame. Meanwhile, let us fry the grated coconut. Into a hot pan, add 4 teaspoon of cooking oil. Add 1 cup of grated coconut. Fry till the coconut turns golden brown in color. Put off the stove. Add half a teaspoon of fennel seeds. Give a good mix. Grind roasted coconut into a fine paste and add to cooked rajma. Add little water in the mixer jar to remove the masala if any. Give a good mix. Now add half a teaspoon of garam masala powder into it. Mix and cook for 5 minutes on low flame. Into a tempering pan, add 2 teaspoons of cooking oil. Add 1 small onion finely chopped. Sort it till the onion turns golden brown in color. Add it to the gravy. Fried onions give very good aroma for rajma masala. Adding butter also increases the taste. Tips for the recipe. Cook rajma until soft. Minimum 3 medium tomatoes are required for 300 grams of rajma. Fried onions give good aroma and flavor to the gravy. Add a cube of butter after putting off the stove to retain the aroma of butter. Thank you for watching. If you like the recipe, please like, share and subscribe my channel. I will be back with a new recipe in my next video. Until then, take care and have a good day.